Welcome back everyone. We'll be heading to the scrapyard tomorrow. So this is what we have so far. Two IBC pods there, another one in the trailer. Thought I'd better share the load out a bit and get it in the trailer instead of overloading the vehicle. You know, I have been overloading it. So I've sort of gone easy with the, the poor old ute and um, yeah, even the scrapyard says, well, you're bringing in too much on one vehicle. So I'm gonna split it up a bit. So we've got the three there. This one's a little bit high. It's not too high. I reckon we're only about three meters from the ground. Let's give or take a bit there. Um, weight wise, don't know. Might be about just on the vehicle. I'm guessing <laughs> maybe a bit over a ton, don't know. Um, same as on the trailer, not sure. It might be about 500 kilos because we have extra heavy stuff in the back down in here too. I just finished putting in this drum here, just filling that one up. And we've got a bit of extra stuff in here. I just threw in a bit of heavy, heavy stuff. They may give me um, HMS for that stuff there and those those two as well because they are pretty thick there's another piece down further underneath there you can probably notice and we've got a few gas bottles that have been cut up so yeah that's all full of gas bottles and god knows what this by bc so yeah we'll uh, get to the scrapyard and i'll catch up with you tomorrow see what we're going to get for this load i'm hoping money wise probably 300 bucks I'm, I'm only guessing, you know, I'll give you a zoom around here, what we got on this side, so that way you can probably try and estimate and put a guess down below, there's a fair bit there, as you can probably notice. So anyway, catch up with you tomorrow. got everything happening here, we've got trucks in the road, we've got excavators, we got the lot. We must have a heavy, oh, they got their excavator back. They got their big one back. Or are they loading it? I don't know. I'll go right around anyway, that's me. Ooh, wouldn't you love to have that? Doing something there. I'm going to put another building in. My guess. Let's see how much we weigh. No one's on the bridge. Way bridge is open. Opened an hour or so ago. 20 to 9 at the moment. Do, 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 do. Go and see what we weigh. And they can sort out what I'm, where I'm going and what I'm doing. I am leaving one IBC pod here. Oh, struth. Mm, 4.44. Shit, that's heavy. Morning. Not too bad, how's yourself? Not bad. What do you got on today? Uh, well, I'll let you determine that. <laughs> I reckon I got pressing on the front, and I don't know what you'd say in the trailer. There's a lot of gas bottles in the back. Whether you'd put them as bloody pressing or what, I don't know. There is a bit of pressing there. Not much. 
There is a thick one in there. Yeah, your big stuff's not worth shit, man. Yeah, I know. It's less than pressing. Is it? Yes. Oh, well, it's better off just going as pressing then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it's like two or three dollars less than shit. pressings, man. Bloody hell. Going down. Well, we were lucky that was the only thing that came down, that and car bodies. Oh, well, I don't, every, bring, every, I don't bring them in. <laughs> Which we didn't think we thought batteries were going to plummet. All right, they, they did. Didn't. Well, I've got to wait until that truck's out of the road anyway. Oh, he could be. <laughs> <laughs> He's already been here for an hour already. Oh, he? fair enough. Any of our bins or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, I was going to say, I, I can back the trailer up and unload some of it yeah, yeah. Um, into the thing over there. Um, I just can't lift these other two, this drum off. Yeah, yeah. You just haven't got the squeezy forklift yet? Yeah, yeah, we've got ours back now. Oh, good, because I can't lift that on. I lifted that on with the bloody front end loader. Yeah, yeah. She's bloody heavy, that. Um, I am leaving that far pod behind because it's ruined underneath and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So, because the centre mem membrane's gone skew if, so I'll be just taking the two home. Yeah, right, yeah. The rest I'll leave. Well, I'll get over there. Yeah, I can't get over there. I can go right around, can't I? Yeah, you can go right around him. Right, yeah. We'll sort it out as we go. I'll just get the weight. Oh, yeah, well, it was four. Four, four, four. <laughs> Thought you had that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. All done? Yeah, get yourself into a spot and do what you can and then yeah. oh, I'll go and come over. Unstrap the bloody the thing. Rest. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'll work it out so I'm nowhere near that bloody truck. <laughs> Been an effort getting in here. It's a real effort getting in here. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. There we go, we got up there. We'll get it in that hole. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get it in that hole. We're up here. <sighs> Organised. <laughs> get the shit off here first. Went too far. What the devil? There we go. That off the What's that one done? I should be able to Take this one off while I'm here, while I'm up here. Then I just gotta wait for them. Come on. 
Why aren't you undoing? There we go. this fella trying to do? Get up here! Get me strap off this one. Do that one. I'm out of the road, thank God. Second. Probably won't need it. I just need the one for going up and over, I reckon. Throw that in there. Seem we're leaving one behind. Right, get this off. I'm not worrying about the drum. They can deal with that. Definitely not moving that. That's a heavy thing, that. Right. Yeah. We decided not to hang on to these things. Casters were falling off and all of that. Right, that's all stuck in there. If I can get down there. Yeah, yeah, I'll drive down there. Yeah, that's bloody heavy, that thing. You got it? How do you want to do this? That's what I was thinking. Or would I be better off parking over here? Back into that. Is he taking that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I could back in over here. Because that's going to be that area. I'll do a diagonal like that. I'll get these off real quick. Yeah, well this one here you can get off. Yeah. Oh, get it over that edge, you can come straight in there. Easy, you 
what your high BC is back? Uh, this one no, that one yes, that one yes. Right, yeah. You understand? Those two there. <laughs> the ones that don't look like they're about half a bad Yeah, that, that's shit. <laughs> that's enough. pretty good. You haven't got another one, so not a full one. No, no. Oh, what's that one over there? I'll have a look. I'll have a look while you're doing that. But I've got to move, haven't I? Uh, I should be around the front here. Oh, pretty close. You may, yeah. Oh, well, go cut. That looks all right. Yeah, no, I'll take that one home. Yeah, 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 that's it. Still gives me three then. I can back back a bit when you pick that up and then maneuver around over there. Yeah, that's right. They give you plenty of room there. I'll grab that off and rotate it into here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an addition to rotate into here. Oh, that one's full, eh? Yeah. The one beside it is the one I need to tip into, and the one on the other side <laughs> I can't use because I need it to Yeah, far out. Taking that for maintenance, are they? No, nah, no, nah, that's not our machine. I thought it was. No. Nah. That's a big 26 ton. We used to have that, uh, we've got that green Cabelco with the long arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not her. That thing is Woo. fun. But it does the job, eh? Right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you need you need something like that here. So, this can pick up 1.3. Yeah, and that can pick up, buddy, three times that. I can go to 3.2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the push power is the best. That's yeah. what you need. Quite a bunch of um, rubbish bins here this morning. Yeah. And I flattened them into <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> yeah. I picked up my weight that I use on this. Oh, yeah. And like that knows you got it. That thing doesn't even realise you're holding it. But yeah. Go on, it does some down. Make a good sound, wouldn't it? But the grab's wrong for us because it's got too big of gaps. Yeah, yeah, I can so, see in the teeth, yeah. yeah. If you're picking stuff up off a pad like this, you just can't get it. It's got that much power that you just knocked the wall over every time you touched it. Oh, yeah, or yeah, well, this wall. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Right. That comes back to the operator, though, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you get long poles, like we have poles tipped off from stuff. Yeah, 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 I understand. And you don't see them through the bottom of the pile? Yep. So you gotta grab the pile and you're pushing the lift at the same time, one of the ropes just goes straight to the back wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm missing the tooth at the moment. Oh. I'm gonna empty the part off and then blindly reach over there with the escalator and find Fair enough. Fair enough. But we're also, we don't have an excavator here on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the moment. Oh, that's a bugger. Yeah, well, I, like well, I make it easy then, don't I? You do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we love when people come in like this. Well, it's, it's the best right. way. You've got to be organised. If you're not organised, it, it doesn't make it a bloody quick trip. This fella don't know what he's bloody doing, surely. He's just making sure he's lining himself up inside his uh, line truck. <laughs> well, he's had the tape measure out 20 times since I've been here. Yeah, but that's just the way they work. Yeah. So, he's going Comes back, back to, to OH&S and safety, you know, wide load and all that sort of shit. Yeah, I already well, he's know. He's going back to Wodonga. So yeah. He'll probably go down here. He'll probably go down to Hughes. Yeah. Oh, well, if he goes Cal Cam way. Has he there. got an escort? No. Nah. Oh, I thought they'd have to have an escort with that. He's moving while he's on there. That's the only way to do it. Yeah, but the whole track, I can see the whole thing's moving that way. Yeah. Sideways. I do the same thing on our small trailer. Sometimes you get yourself in a spot where you can't get it to move across. Yeah. So you'll reach her across with your bucket down and give yourself backwards using your... using everything else. So what's happening out the back over here? Ah, uh, they're leveling it all out. Oh, yeah. So eventually there's going to be another shed down there. I thought that. 
Bigger shed for you lot, hopefully. Nah, it won't be for us. <laughs> Wish. Big area for you. Um, we're waiting for the place to come back from the same company that's down there level and out. Oh, yeah. To do all this. Oh, all right, yeah, so yeah. It's been approved to go ahead. So, won't be until like November at this stage, the best. Yeah. Oh, it always takes time. But, um, it'll be all mix profiles that I lay out. Yep, yep, yep. So they'll dig all this out. Yeah, this guy's all muddy, this stuff. Yeah, so they'll probably use a profile and dig it all out and I'll lay the whole yard fresh. Yep. Gonna be brilliant, no more mud. Cross fingers. Yeah, well it's gonna be from the out the driveway. Oh right, yeah, yeah. All the way up to the top end. Oh okay. And then it's up into the owner of um, the land to do the back line when it gets time and money. <laughs> That'll be never. <laughs> well, no, he's going halves with this from this. Oh shit. Yeah. Because we're not just doing here, we're doing all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he went halves because he decided to do the whole run. Yeah. yeah it's not cheap. Oh, it wouldn't be. It's Another more cheaper one. than concrete though. You the only one in there today or someone else no, here? No, no, you got Matty. All oh, right, yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> some people just don't know really. They don't know where they go. No. Nah. You also got Jeff in the office there too, though. Yeah, he's always on the phone. <laughs> he tries not to get out of that bloody office, we know that. <laughs> he's trying to get all the logistics done properly. Yeah. Once he has it all figured out, it'll be smooth. And... Yeah. Like he does a pretty good job at how the way the trucks and all that work. Yeah, transfers work. Yeah. Now yeah, we've also got to figure out some way to do a transfer where we have enough 30s on sites to be able to take the bins out of the yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I generally need two to three a week now, uh, minimum. Yeah, you get a lot through. Mm. A shit lot through. <laughs> well, I'm doing the farm cleanup, and I generally need oh, two okay. bins to a job. Oh, okay. We've done two, we've done four jobs so far, and we've brought in nearly a hundred ton mm. over four jobs. It's a fair bit. Yeah, well, the first two jobs we did was um, 30. No, it was more than 35. It was 37 ton. Jesus. That Must have had a lot of crap on the farm. Heaps. <laughs> um, First one was out just out the back side of Lake Albert here. Oh yeah. That was um that was two bins and that was sixteen and a half ton. Oh yeah. And then there was one out here at Gumwich. So you just take those hook bins out, do you? Yep, take the oh, hook yeah. bins out with the excavator behind. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Drop the excavator off, start loading the bin. You load the bin, you come back and get another one, go again. Yep, yep, yep. We're just waiting for the trucks and the donga to be fixed and then we'll have two hook trucks here. Oh yeah. Drive it about. Make it a bit more flexible. That's it. But we also need the other excavator to turn up so we can go full time. Yeah. Get the road. Yeah. Probably. Makes it hard when you haven't got one. Yeah. Well, that's why we're limited to two days. We'll yeah. See Tuesdays and Thursdays because Monday you get smashed. Wednesdays you yeah, make sure everything's tidy day. Yep. And Friday you get smashed before the weekend. Right. But I'll, I'll leave here early in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays and when I come back I've got to unload the truck, unload the excavator and load, load all the bins in the yard. Yeah. So I've done two 14 hour days here. It's hey pretty... long. Bloody long 14 hour days. I know what that's like. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Or was it Thursday? Some, some mornings I'm getting up at bloody 3 o'clock and I'm not going to bed until bloody 9 mm. at night. So, you know, I know what they're like. While I was coming back, on th yeah, Thursday I didn't even stop for lunch. <laughs> gotta stop for lunch. <laughs> you gotta stop for lunch. Yeah. Even if you got it with you, you can eat on the run. No, I just couldn't do it. No, oh, fair I was enough. running solo and I had two jobs to do. Yeah. Different locations, they were half an hour apart. Oh, yeah. yeah. But by the time you drive out to the first one, unload the excavator, drop it in, 
load the product and I had to move the bin there on the property about a K. Walk the excavator down, load it, walk the excavator back. Yeah, walking the excavator down takes a lot of time. It does. It's not like you've got wheels and you can just get on, put the wheels on and away you go. Um, walk it back up, load it onto the trailer, strap it all down, strap it and it takes about 20 minutes. Oh hell properly. yeah, yeah. And then drive to the next job. And the other job was two separate piles on the property, so unload down the bottom half of the property. Clean all that up, load the excavator back on, go to the top half of the property and then rip down three silos. Ha, huh, it's true. It's quite fun. <laughs> silos would have crumbled. Yeah. <laughs> They make mince meat of those bloody things. Yeah, well I do it all in this and I did no worries. Yeah. Yeah, they're not real strong, the old silo. Everyone looks at them and think, geez, they're sturdy, but no. So they're designed. I, I, not I, I, I've put a couple of silos together myself and they're only just tech screwed together. Yeah, so they're designed not to expand, they're designed yeah. to hold. Yeah. Whereas if you push in... That's the end of them. Yep. <laughs> so that's all I did was I pushed in from the cross side until the other side... The strongest the part is the bottom frame. Yeah. That's the strongest part. Yep. Hey, I'll do this. Yep, yep, yep. So you want this one undone too while, you, while I'm here? Yeah, yeah, I'll pull it off. All right. You gotta remember what controls what. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you gotta remember what controls what. Yeah, it's more going back to having no visibility again. Yeah, yeah, true. Go straight in there. You might need to. Yeah, go straight in there. That'll do you. You'll pick up the other one, otherwise. I think the other one's heavier than this one. But you're taking the other one off completely. <laughs> Give it a shake. Give it a shake.
You might reach that other one from this side. You might reach that other one from this side. I might. Give it a go. Yeah, down, point it down, tilt it. That's it, straight in there, mate. Down a bit more on the other side. Don't worry about the tray. Just tilt it more. That's it, go in. Yeah, you got plenty of room, keep going. Now go up. Go in, up. In, you got a foot. That'll leave it. Squeeze it out. You got it. Look at that. Grab this other one out. Right. Ah, no, I'm leaving that. <laughs> it's got no bottom. <laughs> I'm leaving that one, it's got no bloody bottoms. Has it? No, it's got no bottom, that one. Oh, right, I'll go for that then. <laughs> yeah, none of these. It's got none of those. It's only got, only got the feet. That might be why it's tucked back there, you know. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Um, I'll reverse up and go that way. Yeah. Down more, straight in there. Keep going, you got about six inches, three inches to the tar board. You'll know as soon as you start pushing it. There you go. Oh, I better leave it open. You'll put it back in the back bit.
Yeah, he did, eh? How's it going, mate? What's going on? Are you stealing our IBC again? No, actually I'm not. <laughs> that one over there was, was bloody, it's got no feet on the bottom. It's got oh, the okay. feet but no railing. Yeah. It's only because I'm leaving one. Because that one's totally knackered. It's been through the through the walls from here. Yeah, mate. Couldn't sleep, so I got up. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, isn't that the way? If you can't sleep, get up and go. Yep. You're going back light too. You're going back light? Yeah, light. Why is that? Because I left me shitty. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been I'm getting good shit long. though. No, actually no. Uh, I weighed in at 4.44. That's with vehicle and trailer. Yeah, yeah. It's not the heaviest I've been though, is it? Hey? It's not the heaviest I've been. No, you're about two ton light actually. And I'm not too high. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus that way. That's it, mate. Yeah. That'll do. Go up. Yeah, go out. It's always easy when I come. Are you going to be seeing you again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, probably three weeks. Maybe four. See how much scrap I can pick up in that time. Because I'm always picking washing machines up and what, what washing machines don't work, I scrap them out. As you see, I'm getting a lot of appliance shit. Because I, I know you don't pay for white goods, but pulling it apart, you do. A lot of plastic. I take a lot of the plastic out, yeah. as you've noticed with a lot of the, tip, the stuff you tip out, there's no, not much plastic at all. No, nah, no, nah, you strip it down to the point where it's viable. That's it, that's it, you got to, and you get paid for it then. Exactly. Um, we got lucky, the only thing that came down this month was HMS and cars. Yeah, like I said, I don't bring in buddy much of that anyway. Yeah. Well, HMS come down to the price of pressing is here pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, $3 more in hand for heavy melting than you do pressing Yeah, I'll probably bring in, just before Christmas, more copper and aluminium. Yeah, right. Well, it didn't change, it stayed steady, so batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. 2.66 was a four there a moment ago. Going up 0.2. It's all good. Do, 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 do. Geez, that's a big heavy sheet of alloy. Damn, that's a good piece. <laughs> You're done. Oh, oh, sweet. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're out of here. See ya. See you when I'm back again. Oh, uh, two, three weeks. I hope. Might be a bit longer. I don't know. Long Ferris or? Ah, same. Well, that was a good day out. Not bad to have a bit of a chit chat and that sort of thing. Knowing what's going on around the place and all that. So anyway, we'll get down to how much I got, um, how much it all weighed. I was actually pretty close on what I said it may be, but it was a bit heavier than that anyway. So we'll get down to see what we got and that sort of thing. 
Well, we did just take in pressing steel. We weighed in vehicle and all, 4,440 kilos. We teared out at 2,660. I think that's with the IP C pods and the trailer. We actually weighed 1780. I think I said mm, about 16, somewhere around there. So it was 28 and 0.5 cents a kilo. We came, they paid 507.30. They take out their waste levy of 67.64. Uh, we bring home a total of $439.60 because the GST is already included into that total. Like I said, well, I think it was about a couple of videos back. Doesn't matter what I take over, how much I take over, I'm still taking it in. Not leaving it on the side of the road, not leaving it where it can go to landfill or anything like that. So if you have come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, you're not going to get notified when, when we put a video out. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time everyone, have a dumpster, have a scrappy and stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.